Hello everyone and welcome to Greece from home. My name is Ted and I'm at home as we all are. Now I know that we would all like to be in um, somewhere nice, uh, in some nice Greek island on a holiday, but uh, hey, we've got nice sunny weather, we've got um, beautiful wines, so let's be, uh, let's be grateful and um, let's stay safe. Now today I want to talk to you about the island of Crete. Oh, what a magical destination. I mean, uh, for those of you who have been there, know exactly what I mean. Crete, uh, Crete is um, um, an island in the southernmost part of the Aegean, which is why it's um, literally most of the year nice and sunny. The um, weather is nice, the people are fantastic and so hospitable, the food is delicious, dairy, um, produce, meat, um, local specialties, the works. Everything you have there literally will be so mouth-watering and delicious you won't imagine. A holiday in Crete is something that um, no one ever forgets. And um, just to make sure that um, you always keep remembering it, people keep, uh, keep coming back for more, as I do. Now today, I want to talk to you about the wines of Crete. The wines of Crete um, that um, are more and more popular by the day, both within Greece and uh, uh, abroad. Lots of um, local grape varieties that um, people are uh, loving to explore. Um, both red, white, uh, quite a few rosés. Um, very well made, real nice sunny weather, um, uh, warm climate, very expressive wines that are um, fantastically food friendly. For um, today's video I have selected a local grape variety called Vidiano. It's um, white, it's fruity, it's delicious. You might want to um, compare it with a French grape variety called Viognier because it's equally um, uh, aromatic. Lots of um, uh, nice and fresh aromas of uh, summer fruits, a little, um, uh, uh, a few exotic notes. Very, very um, nice acidity, mouth watering, nice finish, uh, beautiful to have as an aperitif, but fantastic as a, uh, as a food pair, uh, food pairing wine. Now, if I were to um, serve a tiny bit in my glass, just to um, have a first sniff, it's beautiful, beautifully delicious. It's very fresh. The aromas are very, very discreet. Really, really nice. Lots of white fruit, a few floral notes. Very, very um, discreet and um, delicate. On the palate it's very very balanced it's um, nicely long all the fruity and floral notes are still there and the aftertaste is something that um, keeps you wanting uh, another slurp and another one very rarely you will find um, uh, Vidiano uh, briefly matured in oak barrels but for me it's at its best when you can have it fresh um, uh, on the year of the harvest, maybe for a couple of years more, just to make sure that all the aromatic expressions are there. In terms of food pairing, take your pick. I mean, uh, if uh, you were in Crete, if we were in Crete, you would have it with um, lots of um, nice uh, 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 um, local vegetarian dishes, um, salads, um, uh, seafood, fried fish, but um, if you're at home, try um, anything from um, a nice starter, maybe even a, um, a nice main salad with uh, lots of fresh uh, vegetables, maybe a bit of uh, cheese, nice um, soft white cheeses would be fantastic to pair with uh, such a wine. And um, if you were having a fish, either uh, steamed, boiled or cooked in white sauce, maybe uh, seafood pasta, absolutely fantastic. This is the sort of wine that expresses the character of um, uh, the wines of Crete. Very um, uh, open, very friendly, very delicate, really nicely balanced, extremely uh, food friendly and um, reminiscent of um, beautiful sunny days in this uh, gorgeous island. Let's um, keep dreaming, it won't be long. Um, we will go to Crete, we will enjoy the beauty and the hospitality of this amazing island. For the time being, let's stay safe, let's stay at home, we can do this, 
and I'll see you again soon. Yamas.